On Amazing Indians, we bring you stories of three extraordinary individuals who have showcased immense courage, determination, and selflessness. Though confined to a wheelchair, S. Ramakrishnan is rehabilitating thousands of differently abled individuals in Tamil Nadu. To know about this unstoppable Indian, log on to www.sramakrishnan.co. Bringing about an eco-revolution, Kalan Pokudun has planted over 1 lakh mangroves in Kerala. To know about this eco-saviour, log on to www.kalanpokudun.co And Saima Hassan quit her lucrative job in the US to transform the lives of underprivileged girls. To know about this global Indian, log on to www.saimahassan.co like any other exuberant 20 year old s ramakrishnan dreamt of a bright future but in 1975 all his dreams were crushed and life came to a standstill 1975 10th January, when I was attending the Naval Officers interview under university entry scheme in SSB 24 Bangalore, I fell down from a tree and broke my neck. Immediately, I was admitted in the Air Force Command Hospital, Bangalore. I was in bed for four months. Totally, I was a bed patient. So, by uh, June 1st week in 1975, I I was uh, uh, put up in wheelchair. From that day onwards, I am in wheelchair. But not one to give up, this brave heart started his life all over again. Despite being confined to his wheelchair, S. Ramakrishnan decided to give a new lease of life to many like him. He established the Amar Seva Sangam in 1981. Named after Dr. Amar Singh Chahal, a Samaritan who helped him take charge of his life, Ramakrishnan started his mission on a piece of land given to him by his parents. God has given us enough uh, resources and we have to live happily and we should help others in, in whatever manner we can. Spread across 30 acres of land, this haven has an early intervention centre. Help detect disabilities in toddlers up to five years of age. <laughs> Amar Seva Sangam also has Sangamam, a school built exclusively for the specially able children. <laughs> Having taken around 80 students under his wing, the school uses innovative teaching methods to develop their IQ. We teach them activities of daily living and uh, some children they pick up. Uh, those children are uh, integrated with the regular school available inside our campus. Apart from Sangmam, Ramakrishnan also runs an integrated school with over 800 students. Named after his parents, Siva Saraswati Vidyalaya also caters to the specially abled. Yeah, 
எனக்கு வந்து இங்கே எல்லோரும் சப்போர்ட்டாக இருக்காங்க நான் கீழே விழுந்தாலும் தூக்கிடுவாங்க நான் அங்கிட்டு போகிறதுக்கு நான் எனக்கு ஹெல்ப் பண்ணுவாங்க கைப்பிடிச்சு இங்கே ஆனால் வேறு ஸ்கூலுக்கு போனால் எங்களுக்கு அப்படி கிடையாது யாருமே சப்போர்ட்டாக இருக்க மாட்டாங்க இந்த ஸ்கூலில் வந்து ந நல்லா சப்போர்ட்டாக இருக்காங்க எனக்கு நான் நான் அவங்க கூட படிக்கிற மாதிரி ஒரு ஃபீ ஃபீலிங் தோணுது அது அவங்க அவங்க கூட இருக்க ரொம்ப பிடிச்சிருக்கு Spreading its wings far and wide, Amar Seva Sangam has a medical testing unit and a spine injury center, not only for children but also for youth undergoing physiotherapy. All this free of cost. Joining forces for the extraordinary cause with S. Ramakrishnan was Shankar Raman. inspired and impressed with S Ramakrishnan's noble work he started working as the secretary of Amar Seva Sangam in 1991 an association that has taken the organization closer to its cause the concept was that Amar Seva Sangam should be a resource center a kind of a model township with all facilities under one roof providing them with opportunities to stand tall in society Amar Seva Sangam provides vocational training including tailoring and computer education to the specially abled. And one of the many who have risen above the odds is Rajeshwaran, working as a chartered accountant at the institute. S Ramakrishnan has given his life a new meaning. This is essential one for that every differently able people to um, improve their self confidence and also with the, they have to come around the world and they have to participate in the development of the country providing unconditional support to ramakrishnan and his unique cause is his wife chitra ellathi romba oru jaliya idu pannuvar ivarku indha mari oru namakku ivula apdi aayiduthengra oru kavaliye irukada avar mugathile romba sandoshama irukka அதனாலே அவர் கூட இருக்கிறதுக்கே நமக்கு ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமா இருக்கும் அவர் கூட வேலை பண்றதுக்கு நமக்கு சந்தோஷமா இருக்கும் an inspiration who has brought along rays of hope in the life of many s ramakrishnan is an unstoppable indian who has risen like a phoenix from the ashes listening waters of the payangari river and the lush green spread over acres of land it is one of the most beautiful sights one can behold kanura district in kerala is today known as the land of mangroves But this was not the case 26 years ago. When a man called Kalan Pokudun planted his very first mangrove sapling. Today after years of relentless toil and hard work, he has transformed Kannur into a place that basks in the glory of over a lakh mangrove trees. Known as the Mangrove Man of India, it has been a solitary journey for Kalan Pokudan. Asa metalu, namlu ido ei pranda nangu. Ano ano pranda ano no pay pisindra karde poriyilu chen purpikunu. Angane enda baariya baariya parde nangu. Parbilu no paniyil karde isimichira karkunu. Apa angane orsa duri na pani nche chana. Ingane kallem pokudan orne ei vikti endu. അയാൾ ഇത് കണ്ടൽ വെക്കലുള്ളതെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞതിന് ശേഷമാണ് ബംഗ്ലാദേശ് ശ്രീലങ്ക നേപ്പാൾ അമേരിക്ക റഷ്യ ദുബൈ രാജാവിൻ്റെ ആൾക്കാർ വന്നു ഖത്തറിൽ വന്നു അങ്ങനെ പിന്നെ മസ്കത്തു നിന്ന് ആൾക്കാർ വന്നു എല്ലാവരും എൻ്റെ വീട്ടിൽ വന്നിട്ട് ഇതിനെ പറ്റി പറ്റി സംസാരിച്ചിട്ട് പോയതാണ്
condemned for being eccentric. It has been a rough road for this environmentalist. Right from fetching seeds from the wetlands to seeing his plants being destroyed. Cullen has surpassed every obstacle along the way. And today, Kannur has the largest mangrove stretch in Kerala. Fondly called Kandal, which means mangroves in Malayalam, Kalan is a visionary who had the foresight to realize the benefits of mangroves much before anyone else did. Kalan Pokudan's incredible idea has now turned into a mass movement. And not far behind are these young minds. Inspired by Kandal Kaka's work, they are on a mission to continue his legacy. Lauded and appreciated for his mammoth efforts, not only from his family but also by the government of Kerala, Kalan is an inspiration to the youth of our country. A man driven by undying passion, Kalan Pokudan is truly an exceptional eco savior. On the other side of the break, we bring you the inspiring story of Saima Hassan, a young woman who is empowering thousands of underprivileged girls. Enduring smiles, earnest faces, and hopeful eyes. Drop of water, 
Giving these underprivileged children the ability to dream big is Manita. A few years ago, this 19-year-old could not have imagined ever going to college, let alone inspire others. When I started to study tuition, तो मैंने कभी सोचा भी नहीं था कि मैं यहाँ तक पहुँच पाऊँगी और मैं उनको पढ़ाऊँगी मुझे उनको पढ़ा के इतनी खुशी अंदर से होती है मैं एक्सप्रेस नहीं कर सकती इवन मुझे ही नहीं मेरे पेरेंट्स को भी क्योंकि पढ़ाने से पहले मेरे पेरेंट्स ये सोचते थे कि बस ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड करेगी और इसकी शादी कर देंगे बट नाउ अगर अब जब आप देखते हैं मुझे पढ़ाते हुए मैं कॉलेज के बाद आके घर पर शाम को रोज़ पढ़ाती हूँ तो वो बहुत ज़्यादा खुश होते हैं Today, Manita is pursuing her graduation from Delhi University and supports her family financially as well. Now I am working as a TA, uh, so it gives me a uh, four thousand, and um, I'm also giving tuition, which is uh, I earn per month twelve uh, hundred, uh, and I also got scholarship, which is twelve uh, hundred per month, so it increases my family income. Double than my uh, father. Changing the lives of many girls like her is Saima Hassan, who aims to spread the light of knowledge through her venture, Roshni. When I was in 11th grade, my parents took me to visit a government school, um, and there I met a girl named Priya. So I asked her. You know, you have the best grades in your class. What are your plans post high school? Where do you want to go to college? And she told me she had no plans to go to college. In fact, the thought had never even occurred to her because she basically said, you know, I plan to do what my mother does and what all the other women in my family and community have done, which is to work as a maid. But it was through that interaction that I realized that there must be millions of girls like Priya who are extremely bright and talented and motivated. Um, have worked hard and enjoy their edu you know the process of getting educated can do a lot with their lives but just have no idea what their potential is and what their options are after pursuing her graduation from Stanford University Saima quit her lucrative job in the US and came back to India to work towards her mission a mission to empower underprivileged girls and realize their highest potential just after I graduated from college, I had taken up a job at a hedge fund and I was working as a financial analyst, crunching numbers in a cubicle. And, you know, while that work was intellectually stimulating and I learned, you know, quite a lot, it was interesting and it was well paying and all of those things, it was, it wasn't fulfilling. I felt like a cog in a machine. I didn't feel that, you know, I as a person was really doing my part in the world. I didn't really feel like, you know, it felt like whether I'm here or not, it doesn't really matter, right? And, and so I felt that, you know, Roshni really is an opportunity for me to, as an individual, impact, even if I impact one life and that person then does something for their family or their community, you know, that's enough and that makes me, you know, really feel that I've done my part. Her journey started in 2008. Saima started tying up with government schools across the national capital, identified girls who needed to be enrolled in the program that focused on both knowledge enhancement and personality development. Gestures and postures, if you're standing, you need to stand straight. Your expressions, you cannot fit it. Since then, there has been no looking back for this young gun. And for the girls, it has been a life-changing experience content consists of two broad categories. The first is skill development and the second is knowledge. And in the skills category, we're focused both on employability skills as well as life skills and soft skills. Um, 
In the, in the employability skills, we're predominantly focused on basic computer proficiency, so that includes Microsoft Office Suite, um, basic internet proficiency and email use. Um, in the, and in addition to that, spoken English is incredibly important these days to get any kind of a job. When I came here in Roshni, so I got to know so many things here, which I don't know in my school, just like about many so many skills, like conflict management, how we can resolve our, uh, you know, uh, how we can resolve our uh, problem and uh, about leadership qualities that how we can be a leader and uh, how we can lead a team and teamwork. This part-time program which started with only 30 girls from four government schools <laughs> has expanded rapidly in all nine districts of Delhi and three cities in Uttar Pradesh, impacting close to 20,000 girls. She wanted to do exclusively uh, to do something to bring them out of their, you know, cocoons or their uh, low socio-economic status. If she was doing something, I was all for it. They, now they know how to aspire. See, that's a, at least a child, if she knows how to dream big, she has achieved. Every time that one girl is educated, she goes back and she impacts her family directly. So with an average family size of about five, family members per girl, that's about 50,000 lives that have been impacted in the last six years. The program is free of cost for all girls and scholarships are provided to help them pursue higher education. Apart from training the girls, Saima and her team also hold workshops with their mothers to make them understand the importance of educating the girl child. हम लोग इस तरह के बैकग्राउंड के हैं कि जो बच्चियां मतलब सुबह स्कूल गईं, दोपहर को स्कूल से आ गईं, इससे ज़्यादा हमने बाहर जाने का मौका नहीं मिलता। तो रोशनी ने एक ऐसा स्पेस दिया कि जहां बच्चियां बाहर निकलें। Igniting a spark. Saima Hassan continues to spread hope in these young lives. The hope to pursue a career and live life on their own terms. <laughs>